Hi guys, we're the Nomadic Crowbot, and unfortunately the narrowboat we purchased a few months back had a huge rusty leak under the floorboards, so we've basically had to rip the whole lot up. So today's mighty narrowboat renovations include evil scraping in the even more so evil bathroom, there's a tiddly little bit of ballast stuck in the bedroom bilges that we couldn't quite get to at the time, so we're going to try and get that out and we're also going to treat the floor beneath it. Also, the legend that is the Maverick will be joining us today and helping us lay down some more of our floors. In the process, installing a super sneaky hatch. But more of that later. Fingers crossed we'll be ready for our two-year cruise of the entire canal and river network by April. <laughs> Yay! You choose which one you want to do. I'll be the gentleman. I want to do the sitting around and eating biscuits one. <laughs> and you do everything else. Yeah. I'm never sitting around eating. I'm actually always very busy. Literally, when we got here on Friday, every time I looked up, you were like nibbling away on something. It's just like a little squirrel, just like squirreling off and like finding some jelly sweets or something. And just like... I didn't have much to do. <laughs> there was nothing to do at that point. There was loads to do. There's loads to do. You ask for a job, I'll give you one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's take you through to the bathroom, guys. And this is where I've given Bex complete control of the refit. Step one, to get me to scrape off all this horrible mastic so that she can run wild with a boaty creativity. Finally, finally the viewers get to see. <laughs> He's not a lazy son. It's a proper ball ache of a job, really. I mean, Bex said she wanted to be in charge of the bathroom and have that all, you know, for herself to do. I suppose, in a way, this is her being in charge of the bathroom by giving me the order to do it. <laughs> to be fair, when I said that, I meant, like, the design of the bathroom. <laughs> so, this if is... we do this together, we'll be ever closer to having our dreamy bathroom. This is, like, one of them little gruelling jobs, isn't it? I mean, tiny little bit, you know, you spend, like, half an hour and you've got, like, one tiny little bit done. Have our very own grout technician. <laughs> Professor Grout. Orbital sander. Ding! <laughs> and it's actually Bex's. It's actually mine. I was well impressed by that. I thought it was Bex's dad's one, but Bex actually owns a very own sander. I mean, that is all man, isn't it? <laughs> right, you start off with that then, and I'll get the kettle on. <laughs> Only joking. We are here to work! Like I'm just like in a little pod or something <laughs> like just enclosed in this little pod I am like a kinder egg toy like ready to hatch out of my little egg your bits done really well you've been doing the sanding so all this looks amazing doesn't it so it comes oh, up nice so we haven't got that much more to do <laughs> so you haven't got that much more to do Chris keep going so what a bloody mess guys <laughs> like i said in the previous episode at this point we were meant to be halfway around britain experiencing our new nomadic ways as continuous cruisers uh maybe you need to start calling us continuous scrapers now uh, we've just fallen into the trap like so many others of not getting a survey and we always said we would so what changed here our trust in the cellar and the lack of surveyors in the lockdown but we're here now and the exciting thing is we have our dream home very close in the distance. It's just a little bit rusty now. And on a positive note, what a great way to get to know our new narrowboat. So what do you reckon Bex? Did I do well? Very well. Look at this. Beautiful isn't it? Ready for the next part of the puzzle. The panel off again. <laughs> Do you want me to show, to show you the panel though? I keep coming off. Look at the panel. Without my permission. She just goes. Who do you reckon had the harder job today? I think it was probably equal. God, you're terrible. I was doing that really hard bit today and I, and I went on it for like two hours without stopping. 
Ladies and gentlemen, if you ever want to meet the most dramatic person in your life, he's standing behind the camera right now. Everything becomes so exaggerated. A task that took 10 minutes is like, oh, ten two minutes. and a half hours it took. No, I'm talking... How long did it take me? Was I on there for? An hour, because I actually checked the time. Yeah, maybe it was an hour. So today is an exciting day because a bit more of our kitchen vision is hopefully going to come to light. So we've been talking about wanting to replace the worktops for something a bit more rustic that would go with the lovely butler sink and everything else we have in mind. And true to form, I really want to try and use as many reclaimed or recycled materials on the boat as possible, um, always keeping the environment in mind. Um, so what we're actually going to do is use some reclaimed scaffolding boards to create our lovely worktops. I've done a bit of research, seen some lovely pictures and so I've run away with this idea. Um, I've managed to track some down and we're hopefully going off to pick them up today so exciting. He's in charge of the kitchen now too. You love it, you love it. I run everything by you. I thought you were about to say I run everything around here. <laughs> yeah, I do. She's wangled it again. So sorry guys, it's all probably getting a bit confusing. So now the kitchen floors have been put down, we're going to move all the junk back from the bedroom into the kitchen, kind of temporarily, to make room for the Maverick to lay down the bedroom floors properly and start preparing our secret hatch. We're working in a very small area here, so, so it is kind of a bit back and forth. Ooh. So all this stuff from the bedroom and load it all under here so that the Maverick can operate, I suppose. Who invented dust? Put that one in the corner. Yes, boss. One for the reason. Do you want to take that toolbox back for your dad? I mean, he's probably going to need it at some point, isn't he? It's my toolbox. Mine. The last owner gave us a special hat that came with the boat. But after all this de rusting nonsense, I want to burn it. I want to have some sort of ritual. We set, set it ablaze. <laughs> he may not have known. He knew something, though. He had scraping overalls, to brand new, underneath his bed and then probably thought, you know, specially designed these overalls for scraping they and stuff. Aren't. What if they are? All fresh, all ready to scrape, and then he thought, got to find a couple of dimwits to sell my rusty boat to. Oh, we found the dimwit! It's not a roller coaster, isn't it? Up and down, back and forth. Like new, eh? My arse. So, hopefully, in the coming weeks, we can start to put this mess yes it is a mess back together again a pretty big bloody mess actually lovely maverick will you put my kitchen back together <laughs> Go. So this flooring in the bedroom here has just been put down temporarily. I mean, it's just all over the place. This is where you'll be working today, Maverick. Cooped up in here again. Big bit of ballast that we still need to get out. Right, eh? So if you could do one of your special ballast removing rampages on it. I'm going to hit it with a hammer. <laughs> Slap. Imagine a fish down the bottom. So. <laughs> Make something with a slot, they say. You'll get something out of there, no problem. So quite a few rotten floorboards that we need to replace. Well, the Maverick has to replace. So last little bit that we missed guys, gonna have to scrape that, de-rust it, put all the epoxy on it, just cause we missed it. And just like we did in the kitchen, we're gonna bang some kind of little boaty barricades in front of this ballast to stop it sliding. He never does anything they say, out the way. 
Okay, hell, that's, that's brutal. Well, there's no safety on there or anything. Just push the button and it goes. Yeah. Right, gonna cut the ends off these so I can get them up along the sides here. I meant to do it, I've never done this before. <laughs> Pull the trigger, follow the line. Yeah, that felt good. You do that, don't you? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All that shit. <laughs> One, done, easy. narrow working space. Do you know my theory on the cow? What about it? All cows are female. They are, yeah. But when you're at school they just teach you like dog, monkey, cow, horse. It shouldn't be that taught in that way. They should be taught as cattle. Why? Because it's a female, isn't it? It's very sexist. What's your theory on chickens? <laughs> Above that and then it's got sliding. So it's coming together guys, the Maverick does not mess about. And what you can see here now is the start of the not so secret, secret underground storage bunker. It feels to see it all slowly going back down like that. <laughs> Wish I could offer him a cup of tea, but we haven't even got a kettle that works at the moment. The gas has run out on the little and on the top, and the bottom ball ache isn't even connected. The tea was never part of the deal, though, was it? It's the chicken. <laughs> the chicken's in the contract. I think that draws attention to a secret hat <laughs> or not. I mean, that's where we're going to put all our secret belongings in there. Jewelry, Rolexes, <laughs> uh, marine Rolex, obviously. Bosh, take a look at that, will you guys? So the bed will sit on top of this, and yes, I know it's not secret anymore, but we can trust you guys, can't we? In fairness, we haven't got a great deal of stuff to hide anyway, and it'll probably just become a little, like, boozy, boozy fridge for the middle of the night, emergencies and all that. <laughs> Right, so that's the top part of it done for today. We're still going to have to lay the insides properly, but I might save that for Bex to sort out, you know. You know, we've done enough here. Right, off to get some wood. b and highlight of the video. So the next stop for the Maverick was to get the bathroom floors down. The problem is quite a few of the beams that the flooring had sat on had rotted away. So yeah, time for some lovely shiny new ones. This is new, isn't it? Automatic gates. We don't mess around here at Crowbot Towers. Electric gates. Sensor active. <laughs> <laughs> Rocking into B and Q. You know to do that? Yes, yeah, loud. Everyone does it. <laughs> Two of them. Yes, Chris, I do need some food. It's a long time to be working without you fix a chicken, innit? <laughs> and like that, the Maverick was gone for the day. So yeah, time for me to do some work, I suppose. And I don't know about you, but I reckon this little area in the corner here, which we haven't de-rusted yet, is a good place to start. What do you reckon? Here we go again. So have I actually got this the wrong way round? What way round's it meant to go? Jesus. Smurf side up. I should have known. Okay. 
seems a lot of messing about for a tiny little bit, but safety first. Okay, scrape first to get the rust off, then wire brush it, then collect up all your rust dust, and then onto our mighty rust repellent. Hello, old friend. Aquastil is a unique corrosion control system developed by Bayer Wood Technologies for use on rusted metal surfaces. A bit of ballast in it. Bit of ballast. Oh, well, you meant to shake it, aren't you? Now, I got a little bit lazy here and didn't bother scraping underneath that bit of ballast that I got out. Two words, rust dust. May have put too much on. Unfortunately, that tiny little bit of ballast that we found at the back there caused a whole shit storm of dust and more rust. So when I whacked more of the Aquastil in there, it's gone everywhere in there, so it just looks a bit grubby. This is a right little bodge, this bit, but I've whacked a bit more Aquastil in there. I've scraped it again with the scraper over the area where the uh, little bit of ballast, hidden ballast was. I've shoved a little bit more of the Aquastil over there, but it's a bit blodgy and there's lots of rust dust sort of in there. But I think it's all right, we'll be okay. When this got welded, as you can see, there's just a tiny little rim of steel that hasn't been aqua steel, so I'm just gonna slap on a little, a little bit around the edge here. Might as well, since it's exposed, and then when that's done, we can just epoxy over the lot. For those that aren't up to date, this was a silly little area that we got welded over because we thought we found a hole, when in fact it was <laughs> to hold the base plate onto the bottom of the boat. You live and learn. So off to get even more wood. I mean, this episode needs to be called Day of the Wood because <laughs> there's just so much wood involved. So check out this awesome little place where they just sold loads of reclaimed old scaffolding boards. Again, all becks. So these grubby old scaffolding boards are gonna be sanded down and transformed into kick-ass kitchen tabletops, courtesy of Bex's beautiful little brain. I can't wait for this one, guys. This one's gonna be good. I'm just checking that they're not like overly warped, like us. They always have stuff like this making a racket of farms, don't they? <laughs> oh, I'm getting the train home. So what a productive little weekend guys and I've got to take this opportunity to apologise for the complete lack of vlogs recently. I mean the job that we've got on our hands here is absolutely mad so it's just so hard to try and get one out. The idea was always three to four a week and it will be when we're cruising and we've got less work on our hands but for the time being I'm, I'm really pushing at even getting one out a week. So till next time guys and hopefully see you in a week. If not, have a lovely Christmas.